Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your June 2018 uh, reading. Generally my readings are love readings, we will see whatever comes up. This is for the sign of Virgo. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid, the energy is fluid, we're all at different phases. This is for the sign of Virgo. What does Virgo need to know to help them in the month of June? Oh, somebody ain't happy. Somebody is not happy. I mean, hey, Nine of Cups is reversed. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. All right. It's about wishes, happiness. It's also a card of ego. Okay. It's reversed. Somebody is not happy. And you, you know what they need to do is they need to master their emotions. They have to take the lead. They need to head out of a situation. They need to find the mental strength within them to make them happy. It's about mental strength. It's about moving forward. It's about finding the ability within yourself to bring success to your life. You have to do it. No one's going to do it for you. King of Wands, <laughs> the boss. This is the boss. This is somebody who has the focus, has the, the concentration, has the skills, has the demeanor to be successful. This is the most successful king of them all. He is very focused, very, very focused, very... Uh, successful because he's a leader he takes the lead nobody he is the boss okay the king of pentacles is very confident he has a lot of courage and he's very determined okay so you need to find your determination to move forward because wherever you're at right now you're not there's not there, something isn't happy whether this is at job or at home there's a lack of wish fulfillment here and somebody needs to find the courage Lions represent courage, right? They need to find the courage to get behind the wheel, get in the driver's seat, take the lead, be your own boss, and end a situation that is over. The death card. Something is over. Somebody's holding on to something that is dead. And now it is time to make this change. It's time to go through this transformation that you've been wanting to go through that you've been going through you know you 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 need to you need to keep going you are going through a transformation 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 these are both transformation cards somebody that is watching this right now will not resonate with all of you is has gone through a transformation or is going through a transformation they're not the same person that they used to be <laughs> And that's why they're not happy. Now they have to find that mental strength to carry this out. To go through to their new beginning. To start over. To have this new beginning. But with death is an ending. Something needs to end. Death is an ending. We all know what death is, right? Something needs to end. But you, Virgo, have to take the lead. To let this end. To make it end. Something needs to end. And it all begins with you. With endings bring no new beginnings. There's a new beginning that has been waiting for you. And I've been doing these readings for a year. On YouTube. And this has been going on for quite some time. It isn't getting any better. There's no wish fulfillment in this situation, whatever it is. And this could be at work, could be at home, could be in love. Somebody needs to move on. Find the courage to do it and the strength. Because where you're at, there's no more relationship growth. <laughs> there isn't. Whatever, whatever is causing this lack of happiness, this lack of wish fulfillment... There is no more relationship growth. No more growth is going to happen.
The dreams are not being fulfilled at this time, wherever you're at. It's These are both dreamer cards. They're both reversed. Somebody's dreams are not being fulfilled because they haven't found the courage. Some of you, like I said at the beginning, we're all at different phases. Some of you have found the courage and you are going through this transformation because there was lack of wish fulfillment in a certain situation. There was no more growth. There, it wasn't a dream, the dream that, you know, it's not how you wanted it to end. Somebody needs to find their integrity, their backbone to do the right thing, even if it isn't pretty. It's not about pretty. It's not about the glamorous route. It's not about the easy route. It's about doing the right thing. Somebody's been staying stuck. It's afraid to step out of their comfort zone. Living in a mental trap. Lying to themselves. Dealing with conflicts. Inner conflicts. There's a lot of... Um, Power struggles going on within you. And now you're being called to, this is a card of confidence. And this one is too. You need to find your confidence to let this situation end. You know, I get emails from people and Facebook messages, which I don't typically respond to, so don't be even trying it. Okay, I'm just telling you guys because people think that I, I work for free and... I if I I can't so anyway I still get them people send me their messages there's one Virgo in particular that sends me messages and I like her a lot and I don't know her personally I just know her from from this and she wants to quit her job she wants to quit her job and she hates this job she hates this job it's killing her on the inside it's killing her I know another Virgo who's going through a similar situation in their love life, and this is more than one, okay? There's probably like five other Virgos I know that are going through this in their love life. They don't want to be there, okay? All right, so. But they don't have the confidence to move out of it. This girl, this one that is in this job that she absolutely hates, I'm worried about losing my house. I won't be able to pay for the house. You don't have the faith. If you would have faith that something better will come along, it will. It's called the power of positive thinking. And this message is coming out for you for a reason. This is called channeling. Okay? These messages, what I'm telling you, is coming out for a reason. Have faith in your plan. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the universe. Have faith in your higher power that you will be able to succeed. She's not going to lose her house. I know she's not. But who am I to tell her that? If she doesn't, I can't make her have faith. The only one that can make her have faith is her. But every time I see it, she's told me this multiple times. I have replied a couple times, but I don't want to get into that because I'm not going to. And I stopped replying to her because she, she it's the same story. I, I hate this job. I don't want to be here. And I keep telling her to leave. But she won't. She must like the misery. I can't make her leave. She needs to find the courage and the confidence and the strength and the willpower and the faith to do it. She's killing me on the inside. It's killing me. That's what, that's what I hear. It's killing me. I can't take it another day. Well... Obviously, you like it if you're too worried. You don't have faith. Somebody needs to find the confidence to bring victory and success to their lives. Confidence, victory, and success. Confidence, victory, and success. If you have the confidence, you will succeed. If you don't, you will continue to be mentally trapped. Nothing anybody in this world can do to help you you are the decision maker in your life. You need to stop sitting on the fence. Fear of change. Look the card up. 
Two of Wands, fear of change. Fear of the unknown. Do I go or do I stay? Do I go or do I stay? Do I go or do I stay? You guys have been playing this game for a long time. A long time. It's killing you on the inside. It needs to end. It does with that death card. But somebody is, is staying in this dramatic situation because they lack the confidence to move on. Your intuition knows what this is, whether it's a job, whether it's love, whatever this is. Your intuition knows what it is. Your intuition knows exactly what's going on. Okay. Another death card. Ten of Swords. This is a death card. Something needs to end. It's over. It's done. Somebody has a new passion. A new exciting opportunity. This is being given to you from above. That can lead to more victory and success if you would let this thing end. Somebody needs to follow their intuition. They may have to make some compromises. You may have to, to communicate and work together with another person to succeed. Okay, you may have to do that. But if you stay in this situation that is basically dead, okay, you are only harming yourself. So Virgo, there's a new exciting opportunity here. There is. It's been wanting to come to you for a long time and time now. But you guys are hindering the progress. You are not going to reach your dreams until you let something end. Anyway. Whew. You know... You're still be able to work together. I, I do feel like there's a there's there's togetherness here, you know, and I think that there's there's fear of being able to work this out with another person. There is an ability to work this out. There's ability to make compromises and communicate. There is. I feel like this is meant to happen with this high priestess card. It is. It's part of the script. This transformation that you are going through has happened because it is time for you guys to go down a new path. It is. It's part of the script. It's part of the plan. And you're trying to avoid it. You're trying to avoid it out of this fear, this fear of the unknown, fear of change. Staying in the safest, uh, you know, safe, the safe route. Taking the safe route. Because there's no backbone here, you know, there's no backbone. Afraid of what you're, you know, of starting over, having to start over at ground zero. You've had to start at ground zero before, right? I mean, you have. You didn't get to where you are now by not starting at ground zero. Do you know how many times I have started at ground zero? A sickening amount of times. But the thing is, I always had faith and confidence in myself, so I'm thankful for that. Anyhow, um, what else does Virgo need to know? You're harming yourself. You're only harming yourself by staying in the safest option. Some of you may even be alone right now and not able to open up to another person because you're... You're stuck on something that is dead. Oh my goodness. Where did that come from? But, you know, those are messages. There's hundreds and thousands of people watching this. So everybody gets a different message, right? There's no going back. 
There's not. There's a cycle that needs to end. And somebody is trying to control destiny. And I'm telling you right now, the plan, this, what's happening here is there is a change of plan. There's a change in the future. But you have to stand up for yourself. You have to take action. It may not be what you want. It may be undesirable news. It may cause some conflicts in your life, but it ain't going to last forever. We all go through conflicts in our life anyway. Yeah, it might bring a little bit of uncomfortable circumstances to your life. But in the long run, it leads to victory and success and relief. Because this is your card of relief and reversed. Are you looking for relief? Are you looking to continue to lose sleep? Continue to cry? Continue to worry? Continue to be too depressed. Is that what you is that what you want? Or would you like some relief? You're dealing with a situation, whether this is at work or with another person, that has caused feelings of emotional oh god what is the word for emotional closed off it's closed you off emotionally it's like i'm i'm shut right down from this i have no more emotion left for this situation no more love it's because you have another opportunity waiting for you a new opportunity for love because wherever you're at right now this is job or relationship whatever there's a new opportunity that will be more emotionally fulfilling than where you're at right now because wherever you're at right now there's no emotional fulfillment whatsoever none there's lack of communication there's coldness there's detachment. And you're being called to stand up for yourself. Fight for what you want. Virgo. There's a new opportunity for love. Exciting, passionate love. Whether this is at work or in a relationship, there is a new opportunity. But you are staying stuck in a situation that is less than happy. It's less than a dream come true. It's not what you want. And if you're looking for relief... You're going to have to end it. You're going to have to. Until then, you're, you're letting this cycle, you're letting it keep going. You're keeping it going. You're, you're continuing to harm yourself. It's time to follow your intuition and not worry about the logistics of it. Isn't that what Virgo does? Overanalyze. I'm Virgo rising, right? Okay. They overanalyze. You're overanalyzing. Trust. Trust that you, your decisions are the right ones for you. And you will be rewarded. Trust me. Trust me. I didn't get to where I am today without trusting. By all rights, I should be dead by now. Something needs to end. And all you guys are doing is going against the plan. 
You're going against destiny. You're going against the plan because of the fear of the unknown, the fear of change. It's safe where you're at, but it sure as hell ain't fulfilling. It's not. I guess if you got to be strong, then you have to be. I mean, in my situation, I had no choice but to be strong. You know. So. There's a new, passionate, exciting opportunity waiting for you, Virgo. It's waiting for you. Seek. The power of spirit exists in all things. Everything is made of energy and every single thing in your physical world contains a fragment of spirit, including you. We are all one with spirit and always will be connected to one another. I remember I, I was telling you about trust and faith and that girl who sent me several Facebook messages and I'm sure she's going to watch this. You have the ability to succeed. It's mind over matter. Leave that job. You have a new opportunity waiting for you if you would believe and have faith. But you haven't proven to the universe that you're strong enough yet. Show them that you're strong enough. Show them that you can succeed. Show them that you're the boss. Show them that you have what it takes to master your emotions and be successful in your own life. Prove it. When you prove to them that you love yourself enough to do the right thing, you will be rewarded. Trust me. You will have immediate relief. When you let go of this situation that is less than wish fulfillment. I have to show you. the mo Serenity. The most important relationship you can have is with yourself. This is a time to honor, nurture, and love yourself more by seeking out and removing any negative feelings and emotions that are left over from yesterday. Don't let past issues and resentments interfere with your serenity today. It's time for relief and serenity. Anyhow, so Virgo for June, there's a cycle that needs to end. And you're resisting it. With endings bring new beginnings. What are you waiting for? Judgment day? Talk to you later.